What's up everyone? I'm Janitor Jake. And I'm Chris K. And welcome to the American Gaming Geeks. What? Alright, and welcome back for another episode. Now, if you're new to the channel or you want to get right straight to the game, you can go to this number right here, and it'll take you right to the game. Otherwise, we are going to get the show started. Now, usually we talk about what's new with you in the world of gaming. However, we got some pretty big games coming up and a whole bunch of stuff, so we are just going to get right to the game. You ready? I'm ready. So, the game we are going to be playing today is good old... Back to the Future, the video game. This is a, I don't know what number game this would be, because I know like they had Back to the Future on Nintendo, mm. Back to the Future 2 and 3, there was even Back to the Future on what, the Super Famicom, so I'm not sure what this one is, but apparently this is supposed to be taking place, from what I gather, six months after Back to the Future Part 3, the movie. So huh. this is a continuation of the movie. Now, I actually do have it complete, so that's really cool. It actually has the manual, which surprises me that a PS3 game had the manual. I mentioned this before, but I think a lot of the older PS3 and a lot of the older Xbox 360 games still provided manuals. However, in more recent years, during the kind of the final stages of the PS3, they started getting rid of the manuals and just putting the disc only which I hated. So I love the fact that we do have the manual. I've never played this game before. I've never even put it in the console. And uh, you've never played it before. No. So uh, you have no idea what's going on. But I am a pretty big Back to the Future fan. I know you are as well. So I'm pretty excited to finally check this out. I think it would be awesome to see how much it ties into the original films. That would yeah. be really cool. Interesting. So uh, without further ado, let's pop the puppy in and get going. You ready to play? I'm game. Blow off the cartridge. All right, so this is Back to the Future, the game. Usually, right off the bat, I always play the title screen because, you know, the game has its own music. And what do they do? Bam, Huey Lewis right away. Huey Lewis in the news. So instantly copyright. Hmm. Get copyright struck. But as a fan, that's awesome hearing that. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's what's interesting. Episode 1. I was like, oh, okay. And then episode 2, 3, 4. So apparently we can just go right there. Don't even play the game. Let's just jump right to the finale out right. of time. Time travel to the end of the game. Yeah, we just time travel right to the end of the game. And so there is no options like you can't turn the music off as far as i know so without further ado we're just gonna hop into episode one it's about time that is kind of cool like for the loading screen they uh they put the flux capacitor down there mm -hmm. i think that's pretty awesome this is awesome now is it the twin pines mall Oh, here we go. J.P. Penny. Is it the Twin Pines Mall or the Lone Pine Mall? Look at yeah, this. You can go. Good question. You can change it up. The United German. States and so on and so forth. Now they call it Episode One. They should have called it Part One. Yeah, Part One. Because the movie is awesome. Part One, Part Two, Part Three. Hint level. I don't know what hint level is. It's like, oh, we're gonna give you hints. Well, fine. We'll we'll crank it all the way to the max. Subtitles on. I, I like doing that because people like to do stuff like that. Yeah. It's like, what'd you say? Yeah. Pop up text will be on. Goals pop up. So goals on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and there's a flux capacitor. So R1 and L1. I don't want to turn the music down, but we might kind of have to. I'll put it right here for now. Yeah. And we'll see how the game plays out. Effects. And there we go. So I think we're good to go. No easy, medium, or hard. So we're just going to go to new game. And down there saving. 
I love, too, that it's like all the sound effects. Yeah. Before we begin, would you like to see notifications when Marty has a new goal? Yes, that's so goals. <laughs> Show goals. <laughs> Telltale Games. Here we go. I, I like, like that. Sound. It's just like the, right, the beginning of the movie, too. That's hey, awesome. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin mm. Pines Mall. Morning, really throws me off. <laughs> they have the artwork. And this is temporal experiment number one. I think it's the same voice. Hey, it sounds like the old it sounds version. Sounds like he Christopher did Lloyd. Get down. Did you see my lawn? You can tell ah, he's shit. definitely older. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch it. Just watch the movie now. Yeah. Oh, why not? You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this! Yeah, okay. Got it's it. so weird, it's like watching almost a remake. Like it's fan. It, except it's strictly from the camera's perspective. <laughs> like, this is the footage that he took. Not me! The car! The car! <laughs> See, it's like it just <laughs> sounds just so like weird. Movie. But it's like in the movie, it's like, Not me! The car! The car! Yeah, it's a lot more energy. In the movie. And here it's like, they're just like, all right, we got to do this. And my calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour... I wonder hour, if they're going to swear. You're going to see some serious shit. <laughs> <laughs> they did. Nice. <laughs> now, if it's like the movie, he points the thing at the ground the whole time. No. Cuts away. Oh, so you get to pick what he said. He's supposed to say, Jesus Christo. <laughs> He's spo Marty's supposed to swear, and then he says, You disintegrated Einstein. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, there he is. Jesus Christ, Doc. Wow. Disintegrated Einstein. Come down, Marty. I've been disintegrating everything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely, completely intact. intact. That's why I love in the movies. Like, you hear his voice almost cracking. Yeah. You know. But obviously he's older. One minute. Integrates right, right inside I <laughs> freaking Marty. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Doc. You better get out of the way. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? He did a good job with the voice yeah, acting. If you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, yeah. stainless steel construction made, made the flux dispersal. Look out! He's like floundering Look through out. his lines. Uh oh. Here's what I think it's gonna change up. <laughs> this must be an alternate timeline. Uh, Doc? No. Oh. Oh, that's peculiar. Um, oh. Where's the car, Doc? Should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Why could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. What's that thing? It's some sort of a ruler. <laughs> Alright, get Doc's notebook. Doc needs his notebook. Walk Marty to the left until you see Doc's toolbox. Hey, I earned a trophy. Deja Marty. Move the left stick in the direction. So I can only move the left analog stick, and I can't move the right, so you can't move the camera. Well, that's funny. I don't like that. Select the toolbox to search for the notebook. So, it looks so like already, can... it's kind of like a side-scroller. It's like Wild 9. Yeah. I, unless this is more of a tutorial thing. That might be. I hope so. Press the L1 arm to cycle through selectable objects. Okay, so you can just do this, and that's kind of cool. So, I do like the exploratory nature, like, you can go through, and that's what I love, is, like, since I'm a fan of the movie, you can go through and search. Now, I want to look through this. What I don't want to do is look in the toolbox, find the notebook, and then it goes off to the next scene. It's Cut like, scene or I want to see yeah. what's in here, though. Yeah. So, screw it. I'm going to check the sealed container. Okay. What's in the box? Don't touch that! Oh, plutonium. Plutonium? Yeah. Uh, nice. Plutonium? How do you think I generated 1.21 gigawatts? Oh, 1.21 gigawatts! Sealed container. What if I do it again? I'm not getting near that. Huh. I'm not getting 
near that. Yeah. I'm not getting near that. Whole game. <laughs> Hour and a half. I'm not getting near that. What do we do? I'm not getting near that. Hello there, hello there, hello there, hello there. All right. All right. Toolbox. Not no YouTube. Book. No book. Yeah, it was a great movie. I also was going to say you should have pulled out the movie. <laughs> Not that. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? Why did I just hmm. mention the thing that makes time travel possible? In this notebook, I detail the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. Given that I've held it in the long hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. <laughs> Let's see. It's Mass equals I times C, and E equals the square root of Z times C squared, and the flux dispersal rate is hmm. the first... So now I have to pick something. N, carry the nine, then. This isn't the way it happened. So if I click that, that indicates that he, he, already, remembers. he already remembers something. Let's see. It it's sounds familiar. we got to get out of here. Something's way off here. <gasps> oh... I know, what is that? It's like a horror movie now. It's like, oh my goodness. Uh, Doc? Twin Pines Mall. Whoa. Lone Pine Mall, that's awesome. Doc, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake. Yeah, and like I said, I, I have no idea what the storyline is. Hmm. I, it probably says in the manual, Frankenstein. Oh, weird science poster in the background. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, Mom, I, it, was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past. The Look at, they there. got the clock yeah. from the third movie. So yeah. Uh, so he, well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Miami Vice. For you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. It was all just a dream. It was all, it was all, it was all just a dream, just a dream, just a dream. I like all the pop culture references and stuff too they put in there in the background. Like, I love the movie Weird Science. So it's cool seeing that poster. No. Yeah. It's cool. And all the music and everything. It's like and that's the thing that's awesome, is like being such a big fan of the first film. It's like I love stuff like this because it's like the you're music in is... the actual film. Yeah. Written designed by hmm. Of course this is Doc's place. Yeah. That thing, the the scale. I apologize for the crudity <laughs> yeah. of this model. <laughs> I didn't have time to paint it or build it to scale. Like, oh, okay, Doc. <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna have. Hey, look at yeah that. <laughs> oh, that would have been really crazy if they would have put. That would have been a lot of detail. But on the one clock, they had the guy hanging off of it, like in the intro mm. of the original movie. Yeah. The old um. <laughs> What's it called? That's fixed again. <laughs> wow. Oh. 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 <laughs> May 14th, 1986. Dad, are we too late to stop the sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe He's pretty good. how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to... Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage. I like that hey, it's that not the stupid George. It's, it's the yeah. rich George. These things can't get any worse. No. Friggin' Biff. <laughs> the beer stuck in it. Hi, Biff. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that he's <laughs> in there screwing around. Any it's pretty spot on. I want to build one of those. I guess I'm just... <laughs> remembering. Biff should start playing with the machines. The Rube Goldberg machines or whatever. Search Doc's lab for dangerous materials. Select the items around the lab to make sure Doc didn't leave anything dangerous lying around. So there's Einstein's bowl. Oh, like the dog feeder. I wonder if you could turn that on. 
<laughs> Remember, like, in the beginning of the movie, we were just cooking eggs? Yeah, try it. There's the door. Okay, and you can cycle through. Fish tank, door, dog feeder, clocks. Einstein's bull, fish tank, door. All right, I'm going to go to the dog feeder. Hey, let me... Now, Biff, leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Sorry, Marty. It's weird, too, because Biff and George are, like, they're supposed to be the same age. Uh, yeah. Biff's looks like a kid. Oh, okay. So no it's dog... It's the last step, but it's not the whole, the whole Rube Goldberg thing. Oh, you can actually walk... Yeah, it is kind of weird, though, like what you were saying. It's kind of like... I've played other games like this. I can't recall it off the top. It kind of reminds me of like Resident Evil in a sense. Yeah. Where it's like there, like the camera cuts. Yeah. Yeah. It's got it's got a Resident Holy Evil cow. camera style. You can just like walk around everywhere in here. This is awesome. You do tons of exploring. All right. So what if I just hit the estate sale sign? I better stick around. Doc might have left something important behind. Oh, oh yeah, that's the, like the door. Just to leave. <laughs> James like no. <laughs> All right, so what? dog feeder Einstein's a bowl. I miss Einstein. Yeah, I wonder where Einstein went off to. There's something else. Where was it? Oh yeah, the clocks. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. <sighs> What's that? Have you looked at Doc's model of Hill Valley? Oh, so they're hinting. Like you're mm -hmm. screwing around. Yeah, there's L3. A Search huh. Doc's lab for dangerous material. Uh, R3. Whoa. It's been months since anyone has heard from Doc Brown. Despite Marty's protests, the city has moved forward with the state proceedings and is auctioning off his belongings. Troubled by his nightmare, Marty begins searching Doc's abandoned lab for dangerous items. Hmm. I don't even know what I hit. Maybe it was R3. Yeah. This is the story so far screen. The story so far screen. It contains info on the current story progress. Okay. Exit. So I think that's what R3 does. Okay. Then if I hit triangle. Search Doc's lab for dangerous material. So it gives you tons of hints. Doc's stuff is being optioned off. You better search the lab to make sure something dangerous doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Like, say, Biff's. So the hint is Biff might end up grabbing something. Hmm. Make sure to check the entire lab. Hint number two. Something is hidden in an object towards the rear of the room. Okay. Select the town model. So it's like, so this is kind of like for little kids in a sense too, or, or people who don't understand yeah. the concept of exploring. I think if we turned off the hint things, that wouldn't even be there. So. Hey son, take a look at Doc's model of the town square. Please! <laughs> All right, so What's more TV? clocks. All right, I'm gonna go over to the television, watch some boob tube. Uh oh, one of that's a hint. And then he looks at his dad and smiles. Oh, dad. <laughs> what about the fish tank? Got a teapot in there. What's all right, so we're gonna go to the fish tank. It's weird as a fish tank. I never knew Doc raised fish. Doc's fish had weird taste and <laughs> decor. I kind of like Doc. That's yeah, because that's what the fish chose. <laughs> the fish went out and they bought themselves a tea kettle. George. Yeah, you can talk to him, I guess. There's something about more clocks, though. Hmm. And now it's not triggering it. There. Jennifer liked that. She's into old stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna click on Georgie. Hello, Georgie. <laughs> He's dead. Who's running the sale? Doc's alive. What's Biff doing here? I had. I wonder who's d running the sale. There's nobody here. Who's running the sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? 
Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. He's over there goofing off. Yeah, breaking stuff. Doc's alive. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to yes, know... Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I, I wish the ma lips moved it, faster. No, yeah, the animation. Oh, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Hiding from his creditors. <laughs> me, 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 me. You got Doc wrong? Just argue with George. Wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight up guy. He never run away from his problems. He's straight up well, dog. You know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. Just letting Biff take everything. What's Biff doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's allowed. <laughs> even Biff. I wonder if uh, Biff wouldn't even know who Doc is. I had a dream. I can fight my own fights, Dad. About Biff, Dad. Dad, 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 Daddy-o. Yeah. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle it. So can I. I guess you can. It looks like he's okay, stoned. Son. Yeah. He's like, uh, 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 eyes are all rolling around. I had a dream. Didn't I click on that one? You already did. All right, so I had a dream. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff, but I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. <coughs> what did you dream? Oh, just weird stuff, stuff about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? I guess, but I feel like it was telling me something. All right, so I guess that's it. Keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. All right, have you looked at Doc's? No, not yet. Because you put everything else in here for me to explore. <clears throat> Speaker. So, he's plugging in the guitar. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time. Mm. Now some jerk's going to pick it up for pennies. So that's cool that they, they explain it. Like he had fixed it. Mm-hmm. Let's yeah. make some noise. So he does. I'll break it again. <laughs> Probably gets yelled at before playing. <laughs> so you can turn it on, and then it, the sound will keep going. It took me forever to repair this thing after these. That's pretty crazy. That's it. He didn't. He's not gonna plug I in. I not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. Just turn it on and don't plug anything Just, into or, it. And don't turn it off. What if you find the guitar? Is there a guitar in there somewhere? I'll come over here. It's like when you come into here, I have to hit the L1 and R1 buttons to cycle uh -huh. through to make sure I got everything. Which is nice. I'm glad they allow you to hit the button so you can cycle through stuff that it, you can interact with. Yeah. It's kind of neat having a third person perspective. Because it's like it's like a movie. You see things going around in the foreground and that. Well, let's see what the. All right, I'm gonna come over here. Cause that's the only like. There's so much stuff on here. Like I can't. Sometimes it's hard seeing where it's at. Yeah, that and all the um, stuff on the hub is just uh, electrical equipment. The HUD. Looks like a hand crank lightning rod, or maybe a lightning powered pencil sharpener. All right, that. I think like he walks all the way across God the room. Must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that cauldron. <laughs> oh, it smells like beef stew. Weird. I want to walk all the way. Biff's over here, just going to town on that. It's an endless beer. Just a bottomless beer. All right, electrically vat town square model. Especially with like the way the music fades in and out, you get this really like laid back feel, like an open world 
uh, game. Yeah. An MMO or something. All right, I'm going to go to... And the reason we're not going to the town square is because we want to examine everything and make sure we don't miss something. Otherwise, it'll skip us into the next part of the story and we'll lose our chance to just explore this place. Well, yeah. It wasn't poison gas or anything. And don't turn it off. Turn it on. Be like, oh, I <laughs> hope nothing bad happens and then walk <laughs> away. Mind reading helmet. Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. <laughs> Weird. All right. Mind reading helmet, jukebox, books, vent. Okay, we're going to go to the jukebox. Remember when jukebox was a thing on computers? I got, yeah. I got one. He looks mad. Marty got mad at Biff. Huh. No, copyright copyright now. strike. All right, we're going to go to books. Doc sure did love his Jules Bird. He even named his two kids after him. <laughs> That town square model, okay. Biff, let's talk to Biff. Hey, Biff. Oh, hi, Marty. Didn't see you there, even though I've been talking to you the entire time. What are you doing here? Well, I was as bummed as anybody to hit it. The old nutcase had kicked it. He's not. But I'm not above picking through the remains. You know what they say? Don't look a gift horse in the butt. <laughs> Him and his Doc's stupid not sayings. Kidding, He's still around. <laughs> oh, really? Something uh, in particular. Yeah, something valuable. Uh. uh <laughs> all right. Never mind. All right. Go through all this books. All right. Looks like that about does it. So we are going to go to the town square model. Yeah, see, here's... built this model at downtown Hill Valley, way back in 1955. The clock tower of the courthouse even works. <laughs> we'll watch. Is that no. Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, there. Uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. He's got a carp in the fish tank. He's got a pet carp. Can I have that con... I saw it first. <laughs> so now I gotta be nice. Do I be nice or do I mean, be mean? Maybe I should just say mind if I look at that. But it's like, what would Marty say? You would, you would probably say mind if I look at that courthouse instead of, I, I saw it first. Just a I need to get something out of it. Like what? Like what? <laughs> that was a joke. Oh, huh. But really, can I? No, I think I'll hold on to it. Now he'd probably insist. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. To see, that was the thing. Biff was a jerk like back in the day. Yeah. But then, as he got older, it's none of your business. Doc asked me. Worms, worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ah. All right. But yeah, like I said, after. After George became ri rich, Biff kind of like became more of a nice guy. And now he's going back to being the rude, disrespectful Biff. <clears throat> well, all right. If you I need help, press the triangle button for hints. I think it's because George was intimidating to him. So if I hit the town square model just to see. Kind of empty without the courthouse. All right, I'm just going to go to Biff. Well, I guess I could hit triangle, see if it says anything. It would take a pretty powerful force to knock that notebook out of Biff's grip. Okay, next hint. I'll bet that giant speaker packs a powerful punch. Whoa. So now it's going to be like really tricky stuff. One of the objects at this sale is not part of the Doc Brown estate. I wonder if it's a guitar. Yeah. How did Marty's guitar wind up at this sale? Oh, well. It almost kind of reminds me of like a Beavis and Butthead when we played that on the Genesis. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna talk to Biff. Hey, Biff. That notebook is dangerous. You wouldn't understand the notebook. I'll buy the notebook from you. The notebook reminds me of Doc. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. 
notebook is worthless. It's just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. And then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. Notebook is dangerous. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. You wouldn't understand. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? I'll buy the notebook. I'll pay you for it. How much? Uh, Not enough. <laughs> All right. Uh, never mind. So now I'm gonna go grab the guitar. Wherever that thing is, it'll cause some ruckus. Oh, there it is. That's why we couldn't find it before. It's hiding. All right. So click on Marty's hey, guitar. Dad, why is my guitar got a price tag on it? <laughs> Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up, I'll iron things out with the back. You've picked up Marty's guitar. Press the square button to open your inventory. The inventory's in his back pocket. That's yeah. where he keeps the guitar. Yeah, you put the entire guitar in his back pocket. I do love it's the same guitar from the movie. Yeah. That's awesome. Photo of George. Highlight the photo of George McFly and press the square button to examine it more closely. How much you want to bet George starts to disappear I at some this point? Picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. <laughs> yeah, like you're saying, he's probably going to start disappearing at some point. It'll be pretty neat to see that. All right. It may not look like much, but it packs a wallet. All right, I'm going to use it, I guess. Now select the amplifier to plug in the guitar. Amp over there. Not the controls, the amp. Yeah. Just plug it right into the speaker. Oh, it's wireless. Here's an oldie. What a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Chuck Berry from the first one. Done. So was that Chuck Berry song? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Really give her some goose, Marty. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. That'd be funny if it twinkled. Yeah. Rock on, Biff. Oh, shit. You should have been like, paint! I hate paint! Yeah. Just like in the movies. I always like that song. October 20th. Bulletproof vest. Well, there's a DeLorean. Yeah. But who's in it? Look at the fence. It's Einstein. <laughs> he got the date wrong and he has to fix it. 